A shocking 13 investigates report tonight out of Indiana's largest VA hospital. A whistleblower is now coming forward saying the masks that healthcare workers are wearing in the ER don't meet safety standards. Our Sandra Chapman shares the complaints drawing attention tonight and investigations from OSHA and Congress. A crisis looming inside the emergency department at the Routabush VA Medical Center. Frontline workers there say they're facing the COVID surge with nothing more than a dust mask for protection. Hey, they don't look the same, they don't look right, so there's no seal around your nose, um, which would let air in. Um. Craig Vogt is an RN and now a whistleblower. He says medical staff are so worried they're stealing certified surgical masks locked away in other areas of the hospital. We kind of in a way, it became a black market operation, unfortunately, to get the protection that you needed. I mean, this um, mask, like this piece of fabric, is the only thing protecting us. For months, Vote has raised questions about the quality of replacement masks shipped to the VA. He finally put his finger on the problem when these troubling descriptions surfaced, both in and outside of the boxes. What he found prompted formal complaints to OSHA, the Department of Labor, and the VA Inspector General. I found this in a box, and you can see where it says, in English, non-medical use. Boxes and boxes of face masks marked not for medical use in the supply room of the ER at Routabush. In an email to staff, the assistant ER unit manager responded on October 27th. Please do not use the masks that have not for medical use labeled on the box. Please set aside. But Vote says that's just part of the problem. The VA got new boxes, but based on the inserts, Vote says it's still the same product. The other ones are the exact same Chinese rated dust mask. They're not approved for medical use even in China. According to VA emails, the masks are supposed to be equivalent to level one masks sold worldwide. 13 investigates turn to the agency that sets those worldwide standards. So if you're wearing, you know, one of these masks on your face and you sneeze or you're talking. Sarah Smith is on the ASTM rating committee. So level one doesn't mean you're not going to be protected from splashes or sprays. In fact, Smith says all ASTM rated masks have been improved since March to protect against bodily fluids. But she says level one are typically for sick patients or low risk healthcare environments and that respirators are best in high risk hospital settings because of the snug fit. Um, the small particles could, you know, wrap around the mask and be inhaled from the sides because the mask isn't fitting fully to the face like respirators do. So how did the mask get into the VA supply chain? The answer goes back to the height of the pandemic when the government was scrambling to buy more PPE. Normal rules were bypassed and there were few checks and balances. The FDA also lifted some restrictions, allowing face masks based on China standards to be used under certain criteria. I think the VA thought they were probably purchasing masks from a supplier that said they were adequate. And then the failures occurred when no one verified all these claims. A congressional subcommittee on the coronavirus crisis says dozens of contracts for PPE were awarded, some based on political connections instead of competition and experience. It's, uh, it's scary. It really is scary. AV Medical is one of the companies under investigation. Research data shows AV Medical, a new startup in Tennessee, received more than $20 million in PPE contracts. It's the same company now bragging about shipping masks to Routabush. In a letter to its CEO, Congressman James Clyburn said, VA has awarded more than 20 contracts, many of them without competition, to AV Medical just weeks after political contributions of $85,000. According to Clyburn, Troy Mazell previously served as CEO of another contractor, which the VA Inspector General concluded had misrepresented that they were a pharmaceutical manufacturer. Clyburn went on to say these contract awards raised serious questions. 13 Investigates has confirmed complaints about the masks sent to Routabush have also reached the committee. Vote wants the VA to ban the mask immediately and provide frontline workers the protection they deserve. Yeah, I have a four month old, a five year old, my wife, like the guilt of bringing home an illness and giving it to them would be overwhelming, let alone what it would do to me. But we don't have six weeks um, and we can't keep stealing what we need. 
The Rattlebush VA says it has adequate PPE to meet demand, but would not comment about the mask, nor the safety of the frontline workers expected to wear those masks.